and she was struggling with her career and said, well, if, if you're in DC, you know, stop down and, you know, stop in and we'll have a cup of coffee together. And so she did. And she said, well, you know, I was doing great in my career until I hit this speed bump last time I was in Coast Guard headquarters and I just did not get along with my supervisor. Everything I did was never good enough. Um, and if I ever have an opportunity to be in a position of senior leadership, that's not the type of leader I will be. Uh, and she was what I would call a disruptive thinker. She was also the chief of staff at the 7th Coast Guard District, um, which is a pretty demanding job. Now, I don't make, I don't pencil in who the next flags are going to be, but I said, this is somebody that has senior leadership potential in our, in our organization. Her name's Melissa Burke. She is now at Northcom, and she just adopted a baby. So she's a mom, she's a flag officer. You know, she's in a, in, in a big environment, but she's been in your shoes as well, she's seen it. And so to me, it's important that everywhere in our organization, you've got those people that have been mentors to you. Uh, so if we're gonna make a difference in turning the corner in inclusiveness in the organization, uh, I'm certainly doing that you know, in my day-to-day -day life, in terms of who my travel party is, uh, my speech writer just came in, Angela Cook. Uh, she's a lawyer, um, and so she didn't write this speech because I don't have one. <laughs> uh, but it's important that, that we stay mindful of inclusiveness. And so I just share that with you as well in terms of, you know, if, if I'm really serious about putting this into words, well, what are you doing deed-wise to make this happen as well? So I just share that with you 